So the title of my message today is Entrust Yourself to Love. Entrust Yourself to Love. God is love. So we have superhuman power of control to walk in love. See, the world doesn't have that. See, you are not of the world. You are of your Father who is God. God has given you all power and authority to walk in demonstration of his character and his nature. We are imitators of God. God gave us permission to imitate him. But we have to make the choice to do it. So if we don't know how to do these things, all we have to do, do is look at how Christ did it. See, if we don't know how to be devoted to one another, look at how Christ did it. If we don't know how to be tender toward one another, look how Christ did it. He's our example, right? We have the mind of Christ. We can think the thoughts of God just like a trained soldier. We're in the army of the Lord, and that is no light thing. God has an expectation for us as the people of God. Amen? Amen. So that body that's sitting on your left and your right is your body. Amen. Say, hello, body. hello, body. See, Christ lives in that body. We ought to reverence the Christ that's in that body. Yeah. Entrusting ourselves to God because we know that people do things and people say things because we're all growing in grace and in the knowledge of God. We're all in a transformation process. And while we're in that process, God has told us how to demonstrate his love one to another. That you will have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. That love abides in us. We don't even know how deep it is. And guess what? We're going to still be finding out until Jesus comes. And that's all right. See who you can outlove today. See who you can outlove today. You have the wisdom of God on the inside of you. You can set the parameters for your interactions with people based on love. Amen. And the love of God on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. There are seas of great